Hi, welcome to Envision. I'm Deanne Conrad. Dr. Brian Maher, our superintendent, has an opportunity from time to time to visit various schools, um, sometimes in our own state, sometimes across the country, for various things. And really, how do we compare when it comes down to our, our facilities, the programs we offer? Sometimes we live in the little bubble here that is Sioux Falls. And uh, how do we compare? Yeah, how do we compare in math? How do we compare in English? How do we, we do that? We do that all the time, and, mm -hmm. and, the, and from a very big picture standpoint, we compare really well, the, uh, very favorable, and, and that's not any surprise, I think, to anybody that mm -hmm. knows our community and our school district. Um, but what we really do is we really dig in and to, and to see um, how do our facilities compare to our neighbors, how do, they, mm -hmm. how do they compare across the region, those sorts of things. How are we comparing um, academically, mm -hmm. math-wise, English-wise? So we're always looking at those. As, as a matter of fact, there's a, there's a group of schools we belong to called the Midwest Benchmarking Consortium. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's uh, 11 schools that are similar in makeup to us from a size perspective, um, some similarities in a demographic perspective. And we look at ACT scores, mm -hmm. AP results, um, uh, math results, English results, all of those things, graduation rates, to see where we are. And, and the, again, my my grade for us would be an A. We do really well, but it's not like there isn't some areas where we need to improve a little bit. So we're constantly looking for where are we doing well and how do we keep emphasizing those areas, but also where aren't we doing so well right. and, and how can we get better. I know in the facilities discussion, one of the things we're, we're looking at is what programs exist around the country that might be able to be replicated here or improved upon here? Um, so you have the facility structure, but those discussions, is it, does it look like a, a traditional school? Does it look like um, a specialized school that, that we have um, an opportunity mm -hmm. to create? And so all of those things are, are on the table and, and really we're constantly looking and researching what the best practices are. Great point. And I don't know the genesis of all of our specialized programs, but my guess is most of them, if not all of them, were happening somewhere else before mm -hmm. they happened here. Mm -hmm. So that uh, so that gives you a little bit of an example of how do you bring the best of what's happening elsewhere into Sioux Falls. I would also tell you there are folks who are looking at us now with mm -hmm. our computer science immersion, with our Spanish immersion, with our Arts Plus School. Uh, and so there are, there are folks uh, with our CTE Academy mm -hmm. There are folks looking at us as well. So, so I think we have a lot to offer other districts as well as a lot to learn from other districts. And then bottom line is it's offering what we can offer students and what we can offer them in terms of pathways to success and, and really help them find their interests and find their passions. Without a doubt. And how are we responsive to the community that we serve? Right, exactly. Well, always working to try to improve upon what we have here in Sioux Falls, which I think we have a pretty good thing going, um, but always looking for, for what might be around the corner to improve student engagement and student achievement overall. Thanks for joining us today on Envision.